Hello and welcome to the show. In the previous video I did, I looked at three different ways to get power to your Pi project. In this particular video, I'll extend on that and look at how you can use battery power to convert that to the five volts that most of the single board computers actually need. In this video, I'm going to take two Pololu power regulators, an eBay 5 volt power regulator, and using a lab power supply to feed those regulators, simulate the uh, full charge that a battery might be able to provide, and see what happens to those regulators as the voltage starts to drop on your battery, providing power to the regulator, and therefore to your actual Raspberry Pi or single board computer project, and just have a play around with some of the voltages and see how things actually perform. Okay, so the actual setup I've got here on the uh, table, um, I've got one camera looking at the power supply. I have this meter hooked up in series, taking the voltage and the amperage from the power supply and feeding that into a power regulator. In this case, I've got the Pololu U3V50F4, I think it is. Um, this one is supposedly able to deliver five, uh, four amps output. I have that hooked up from the lab bench power supply going through that so we can see the current and I have another meter here uh, measuring the actual voltage going into the Pi, uh, into the power regulator and then coming out of the power regulator and see what the actual differences are there and I have a Raspberry Pi 3 and a 7 inch LCD providing the actual draw, the actual drain. So since I've got the uh, U3V50F4 I think it is hooked up at the moment, and that one's supposed to be the most powerful five volt regulator. I will simulate five volts going in, and we'll just see how everything actually plays out. All right, so we've got five volts going straight into the regulator at the moment. And as you can see, it jumped up around one and a half amp draw there. Um, 1.4, 1.5, around about an amp a little bit reading a little bit higher on the actual lab power supply, um, but about 0.9 of an amp going through the multimeter. So we'll just probe the voltage going in, and I know the lab power supply says five volts, but let's just take a look to see whether or not we're getting five volts at the front of the regulator. So this is the input of the regulator. And if you can see that on the meter, that's actually 4.7475 volts. That is not a full five volts. But what about the output, even though the voltage is less? Let's take a look at the output. And the output of that voltage regulator, 5.00 or 5.01 volts. Excellent. And as you can see, the screen and the Raspberry Pi up and running with open lick. So that's great. Um, and already we can see that the lab power supply says five volts out, but it's only hitting about 4.7, 4.8 at the regulator. And if you're using a battery, just so, something like the 18650 uh, to power your project or a standard lithium ion 3.7 volt battery, they're 3.7 volts on a good day, 4.2 fully charged up, they don't stay there very long and they start to drop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna wind down the voltage on the lab power supply and emulate the 4.2 at the front of the regulator like a fully charged lithium ion battery. Okay, so there we have 4.2 according to the lab power supply. And at the front of the regulator, we are getting 3.8. Nowhere near what the lab power supply says. But what about on the output of the Pololu regulator? Okay, so the Pololu power regulator is putting out a clean five volts, but as I measured over here, the lab power supply is actually only putting out 3.87 volts. And even though I've got it set on 4.2 volts, 3.87 at the power regulator is actually not too bad because a fully charged, or I'm oh, sorry, a, a medium drained uh, lithium ion battery is going to give you around about 3.7, 3.8 volts anyway. But let's wind it down a bit further, down to about the 3.2 volt mark, which is where things start to get a bit dicey. And I'll do it at 3.2 at the power regulator, not at the lab power supply. 
So okay, we've got 3.5 on the lab power supply. That's actually giving us just 3.05 volts at the front of the regulator. It's half a volt drop coming out of the lab power supply. And at the front of the regulator, what's feeding the Pi and the screen, again, a nice clean 5.01 volts. It is fluctuating a little bit because it's right at the bottom of the threshold of where the Pololi should turn off. Uh, the input minimum is three volts. So that one can definitely do the job and feed, you know, a couple of amps going into the project and it's rated at a four amp output. So even at 3.3 volts, we should still be getting a little over two amps of potential output, and that is actually what we're seeing here. Uh, it's not drawing a full two amps, but you, you get the idea. So let's change over to a less spec voltage regulator. It's still a Pololu one, but it is not rated at a four amp output. It's rated at about a two amp output. Let's take a look at that one. All right, we've got the second Pololu power regulator hooked up. Let's start it on a really low voltage. This one still has a three volt cutoff, and we'll just see how we go. And what we're actually seeing is a, an unhappy Raspberry Pi and an unhappy LCD. Let's quickly check the voltage going into the regulator. All right, we're getting 3.1 volts going into the regulator. And the voltage coming out is all over the place. Let's give it a bit more juice. Okay, so we've got 5.1 volts on the power supply, which is giving us 4.7 volts on the input of the regulator, 4.8, and that is providing a 5.0, around about 5 volt output, 5.04 volts. So this regulator is happier with higher voltage going in and it's around that 1.2 amp draw just sitting there doing nothing. Um, however, if we drop the voltage, all right, so it's 4.1 on the lab power supply, but on the regulator here, okay, so that's 3.7 volts. So that is exactly what you'd expect from a, an average lithium battery, 3.7 volts. On the output of the regulator we are getting, Yep, pretty clean 5.04 volt output from the regulator feeding the Pi and the LCD. So if we go lower, and right now we're feeding 3.6, almost two amps coming out of that lab power supply, feeding 3.6 volts according to the lab power supply, 3.1819 at the start of the voltage regulator and still a nice clean five volts output from the voltage regulator going into the Pi and LCD. So they're both Pololu branded regulators and they're not particularly cheap ones. However, this little fellow I picked up off eBay for $4 and it is a two amp five volt voltage regulator. Let's see how that one actually does. And yep. It's providing power, and that is a four volt input. 3.7, I dare say the output voltage. It's five volts there. So it's actually putting out 5.1 volts. So I will drop the voltage. I'll go 3.2 volts. So I'll just have a look at the input. Okay, the input's fluctuating a little bit, but we're getting pretty close to the three volt mark, 2.93, three volts. We'll say, we'll call that 2.8 volts on the input and on the output, 5.1 volts. So this one's actually putting out a little bit of headroom, putting out 5.1 volts, which is still tolerant and fine for the uh, banana pie and most single board computers and the LCD doesn't bother it. It's rated at 12 volts anyway. So the output there at five volts, 5.1 volts, we drop a little bit and we're down to about 5.02 volts as we run into the wiring. Um, but this little power regulator, a little $4 job, 
is actually capable of taking a 3.7 volt lithium battery input and giving you a nice clean 5 or 5.1 volts out to power your Pi or single board computer project. So there's a couple of those power regulators that I use on a regular basis and you don't need to spend 20 or even $15 on a power regulator to be able to power your Pi projects. Some of those small little $4 ones or $5 ones from eBay uh, do exactly what they say they do and give you about a 5, 5.1 volt output, allowing you to run your projects from 18650s or the uh, flat version of the lithium ion batteries. So hopefully you found that uh, useful and I hope you'll join me again in a week's time. Thanks.